numbers. God has forsaken us. Probably Gideon has sought God for a very long time and there was no answer. So he himself has settled for whatever crumbs he will get. Some of you who are more spiritual are concerned about the church. And say, God, have mercy on the church. The devil has so oppressed us that even though we are kings, we are walking on barefooted. We are walking on the ground. Where the sons of the Amalekites are riding on horses. I tell you, if you're a Christian and you be, I want to challenge you that if we remain in the spiritual state that we are now, a time will come when our children will not even get ordinary civil service job. directors and hand secretaries, majority of them were Christians. But the decay has been not happening over the years. You see, it's either you go for God or you convert and become a Muslim. What did I say? country. You want to stay in Gombe. You have two options. Either you become on fire or for God or you kukuma just what? Just become a Muslim and join it. That was the situation Gideon found himself in the generation. But Gideon was not satisfied. Holy 
Spirit is saying, see yourself. You can easily detect that the Holy Spirit could easily see this thing that you are doing. But while you are praying, you could not believe that God reward answer you. I learned a lesson that day. with God as a loving father. We see God as an accuser. Whenever you do something wrong, you immediately sense that the Holy Spirit is speaking to you. But whenever you do something good, you wonder how has God noticed it? Let me tell you something. Notice your good works even more than your bad works. So anytime you open your mouth to pray, God is listening. And God has already what? Answered. You belong for This is a great revelation. I don't know what prayer you are praying to God. God has what? Answered. According to his will, he has already what? Has already and someone said, I want to see it what? I want to see it grow. You will see it grow. Church, as regard to the nation, as regard 
to your family or as regard to an individual problem. If you come here and you have a question and say, why are things happening this way? That today's meeting is for you. Because I have a question. My own is not personal. I'm not asking God why are things happening in my life. Because everything is happening well. Praise the Lord. It's not a fake statement, it's a correct statement. Wow. It's not a fake statement. I thank God. But I have a burden for the church.
and there was fire on the other end. And people are in the church oblivious of the fact that the end of the church is fine. Church, but the end, they are tumbling into hell. Because nobody is warning them. And the few people that will stand and they are warning them, they appear strange to them. Because strongholds have been built in the heart of men. The gospel has been twisted to the extent that people believe they can live in sin and yet they will see what somehow they will enter heaven. the Christian home. Christian homes have become battlegrounds. Christian homes have become a place of sorrow and pain. I'm not talking about people who are not very spiritual though. Nothing will happen. At the end, it will still stand. People have the courage. 
church to approach the church and talk to it. Uh, where is the power? It bleeds in my heart that we're a church without power. It bleeds my heart that we our words mean nothing. Our God seems not to respond to us.